Game of Thrones Season 2, Episode 10. I don't know how to pronounce this, guys. So it's right here, and you guys actually tell me how to pronounce it. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for rocking with us, man. We are at the freaking season finale of Season 2 already, man. It seems like just yesterday we picked the show up. Right. It's been a treat, man. Thank you guys so much for rocking for us. Like, subscribe, turn on the notifications if you choose to do so. And if you want more of us, man, you can go hit us up on Patreon. Baby, you got anything to add before we get into it? I'm so excited, but I'm so nervous because last um, finale was um, intense. And yeah, I just don't know what to head. think here. Right, absolutely. <laughs> you got any so. predictions? Um, um, somebody's losing their head. So whatever's going to happen, it's got to top what happened in the last season. But that was so. episode nine that he lost his head. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying, guys? It was pretty much the season finale yeah, basically. in a way. So, uh, yeah, guys, anyways, no predictions. Let's get into it. Let's go. go. Let's go, dude. I'm ready for it. Let's see what happens. My whole life, I thought finale was just called final and that you was silent like my name. It's not. Yeah, it turns out you was very wrong. Yeah, I was so wrong. One thing I will predict, though, is Theon's going to get slapped around by his sister some more. Really? I think his sister is not going to entertain Winterfell anymore. I can't believe they convinced him to turn on them like that, though. That was jacked up. Mm -hmm. I don't know what y'all have going on over there now. Y'all yeah, flipped the, it on his head. That's cuckoo land over <laughs> there, bro. Let's go. Let me, Here we go, y'all. I bet go. there's going to be the ultimate cliff cliffhanger. Oh, dude, I hope so. I'm hoping this is the best episode yet. Is that Sansa's eye? No, that's a dude. That was crazy. Oh, Tyrion. Oh, it is. Bad. Bad. Find Bronn or Varys. I am here with Maester Pycelle. Tell them I am very much alive. Would you like something for the pain? What happened? The murderer and traitor Stannis Baratheon suffered a stunning defeat at the hands of your father. Yeah, what happened to him? Yeah, where is Stan? Where am I? These are your new chambers. A little cramped, perhaps, but you don't need much room, do you? Why is he talking to him like that? Because remember, he got him locked up and cut his beard off. I mean, yeah, I understand that, but I'm saying, what authority does he have? Oh, well, he's not Hand of the King anymore. His dad's back. For your trouble. Yeah, you're right about that. Dang, he didn't think about that, did he? He disrupted the waters, but only temporarily. Mm -hmm. Tyrion just was the goat in that whole battle, and y'all forgot about that. Y'all, no one even, ew, dude. <laughs> what was you saying before you were so rude? I don't know. <laughs> How symbolic, Tywin, like, low-key, you know, I, he did Joffrey that on this. I, Joffrey of the House Baratheon, first of my name, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, and Protector of the Realm, do hereby proclaim my grandfather, Tywin Lannister, the savior of the city, <laughs> and the hand of the king. Grandfather. And the Tyrells are there. I just seen them. What is Cersei sitting on, baby? Thank you, your grace. She's doing an air squat. Right, I was about to say. Well, Peter Baelish, step forward. Uh-uh. For your good service and ingenuity in uniting the houses of Lannister and Tyrell, I declare that you shall be granted the castle of Harrenhal with all its <laughs> attendant lands and incomes to be held by your sons and grandsons. He always wanted this it. Day well, until the end of time. People keep promising him it. <laughs> words, your grace. I shall have to acquire some sons and grandsons. Dolores Tyrell. That poor dude. Your house has come to our aid. The whole realm is in your debt, none more so than I. If your family would ask anything of me, ask it, and it shall be yours. My sister Marjorie, I would ask you to find it in your heart to do us the great honor of joining our houses. They're trying to marry her. He cares why. With He's pretending he does. Grace, tales of your courage and wisdom have never been far from my ears. And <laughs> those tales have taken root deep inside of me. I too have heard tales. It would be an honor. I am promised to another. That's right. The king must keep his word. In the judgment of your small council, it would be neither proper nor wise for you to wed the daughter of a man beheaded for treason, a girl whose brother is in open rebellion against the throne for the good of the realm. How's her dress blowing? To set Sansa Stark aside. Yeah, let her go. Let her leave. They said, we want Marjorie. <laughs> I would like to heed your wishes and the wishes of my people. I took a holy vow. Your Grace, your father made this pact <laughs> before the Starks revealed their falseness. That their crimes against the realm free you from any promise you have made to them. That's scary for Sansa. Now she has no protection, though. The gods are good. I'm free to heed my heart. I will gladly wed your sweet sister. You will be my queen. And I will love you from this day 
until my last day. But you said that the sun's already a little snake in the grass. I'm not upset about it, baby. I don't know, man. That's her out. Like, you know, the alternative is you're never leaving. You're Joffrey's but property. But listen 100%. here, though. What happens? She still has to, where's she gonna go? Yeah, but man, at some She's point. She's still a prisoner of war. Would you rather, would you rather take your chances or be Joffrey's subject? Oh, I would take my chances. 100%. Look, she said, so, look at her. Oh, I that's what I'm it. trying that's to so wholesome. say. Here comes Herbert, the pervert over here. You're right. I'm not good enough for him. You'll be good enough for many things. He'll still enjoy beating you. He'll be able to enjoy you in other ways as well. If he's not marrying me, he'll he... let you go home. You have a tender heart, just like your mother did at your age. You can see so much of her mm. in you. Creepo. She was like a sister to me. Even grosser, bro. Oh, well, <laughs> you know what that means. He was trying I'll to help get you home. King's Landing is my home now. Oh my gosh, Sansa. Beating into submission, is you? I don't know, man. That's tough. I feel yes. like he's putting stuff in her head more, though. Make yourself comfortable. Who's this? I'm not like most men. That's what most men say. <laughs> if you don't want what most men want, then you better tell me what you'd like me to do. To tell me if working for Lord Baelish has been all you'd hoped it would be. If we met? You wouldn't remember me if we had? <laughs> need a lot of men. I think your true talents are wasted on them. You're very kind, my lord. I protect those who work for me. I don't abuse them to satisfy royal whims or force them to abuse each other. <laughs> Joffrey. I know. I thought you said you knew who I was. What can I he do knows everything. Do don't you know that? I'm like borderline, do I like him or not? I don't know. It's weird, right? Littlefinger looks at you and sees a collection of profitable holes. I see a potential partner. I'm afraid of him. Oh, you should be. He's a dangerous man, but everyone has their weaknesses. Your current employer hides his very well, not as well as he thinks. Is he like jealous of him because he got here and all? Yeah, for sure, right? But babe, like, there's so much going on with them that we just don't know yet. Right. Like, we boys? just can't know at this point. Were you, You're right. Uh, foot taller than all the boys? We laughed at you, called your names. Some boys like a challenge. One or two must have tried to get inside Big Brienne. Why are you so perverted, Jamie? <laughs> You fought them off. Maybe you wished one of them could overpower you. None of them were strong enough. I'm strong enough. Not interested. I was just shooting a shot, that's all. <laughs> they lay with lions. Tavern girls, I'd say. Probably serve my father's soldiers. Glorious work of the Northern Freedom Fight. I serve Lady Catelyn. Tell yourself that tonight when they swing in your dreams. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Burying them. I think these women would understand. I don't care what you think. Here goes, here goes the dig the hole scene. She makes him dig the hole. No, you know where you hate when people dig the holes in movies? Oh yeah, you Whoa. ain't digging a hole right there. Looks like Ned when he's little. Traveling a prisoner. <laughs> you're a woman. A woman. <laughs> if you've quite finished, I'll... Oh my gosh, rudes. I don't like y'all. All right, we'll be going. Whoa, what did he do? Apparently eating is not a crime, who knew? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you taking him? To River Run? She's Why so nice. Run? Why not kill him? I didn't give the orders. He must be important to someone. Sending him with you? How important could he be? Man, you asking a lot of questions, bro. Yeah, why are y'all being such bullies? For what? What do you think of these beauties? I hope you gave them quick deaths. Two of them we did, yeah. So th they're the ones who hung them? Uh-huh. That's crazy. I do know you. That's Jamie Lannister. I wish someone had told me I wouldn't have had to steal that pig. No. <laughs> How do you know what a Kingslayer looks like? I was at Whispering Wood. I saw him. He's not the Kingslayer. Sorry to disappoint you. I have a question for you both. I count to three, you both answer. What's his name? One, two. Oh, snap. Let's go. Man, they should have just left well enough alone, bro. <laughs> Keep it moving. Go ahead, ask some more questions. Go ahead. Two quick deaths. Ooh. Mm, she got him right in the stomach. Dang. That's what I don't understand about this world, man. Like, why are you even looking scared? Like, you did that to someone. You know it's coming for you. So don't even play with her, basically. Well, I don't get why you're out there hanging people if you're not, like, willing and almost, like, anxious to get stabbed in the stomach because someone's going to do it to you, bro. Those were Stark, man. I didn't serve the Starks. Mm -hmm. I serve Lady Catelyn. Told her I'd take you to King's Landing. And that's what I'm going to do. Stay. Yeah, stay, dog. <laughs> I want you guys to try to go out in the middle of the woods with some swords and dig a grave. Go ahead. Tell me how long it takes y'all. Walter Frey is a dangerous man to cross, and you mean to do it anyway. I love her. I know that seems important to you. It is important to me. Your father didn't love me when we married. Y'all seemed in love. Love didn't just happen to us. We built it slowly over the years, stone by stone. For you, for your brothers and sisters, for all of us not as exciting as secret passion in the woods but it is stronger it lasts longer 
And that is what would be in store for me with one of Walder Frey's daughters, what you and father had. <laughs> Why not? Because he's not exotic and exciting. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> you gave him your word. Treat your oaths recklessly and your people will do the same. If your father lived his life for My one father thing... father is dead. Some people take their oaths more serious than others. I, I don't know what to say, two bees. <laughs> like, I get where she's coming from. But you got to make some people mad and... Are you a prisoner, Santa? You said you saw my victory in the flames. I did. I still see it. The flames lied. And I'm no better than a savage trusting in a fire god. Good to see you too, Stannis. <laughs> I fought for your god in Blackwater Bay. I led my men to the gates of the seventh hell. And for what? Attacked from behind by Tywin Lannister and the Tyrells. Who claim to speak for a god? Will you quit the war just because you've lost a battle? You talk about war as if you understand it. I've been fighting far longer than you. Show me how you fight. What the heck, man? Chill, bro. It's Chill. one battle. That's your baby mama. <laughs> right. Have some respect. Where's your god now? Will he save you? Oh my gosh. Dang, Xanus. Inside you. Good answer. What does that even mean? That means you to God. I don't think that's what it meant. My brother. Stannis admitted to it finally. We murdered him. Yeah, your shadow child. It wasn't your brother. This war has just begun. Thousands will die at your command. You will betray the man serving you. You will betray your family. You will betray everything you once held dear. Oh, Lord. And it will all be worth it. Because you are the son of fire. You are the warrior of light. You will sweep aside this pretender and that one. Him? <laughs> you promise these things that none of us know. Let me show you. He's drinking the Kool-Aid at Jonestown. Right, but she just said, let me show you. So she's probably about to lie with some lying spell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> see fire. Keep looking. Do you see? What's he supposed to see? I mean, I kind of want to see. Yeah, can y'all tell us? He sees victory, I guess. Ew. I will kill that man. Beyond the betrayer. I don't care how many arrows they feather me with. <laughs> I know I'm surrounded. I know that because I stood on the battlements and saw I was surrounded. They don't want you to sleep. Thank you, wise, bold man. Thank you for explaining siege tactics to me. A word from my father. No. Send more ravens. You killed all the ravens. Theon, Theon, Theon. First time I saw Winterfell. <laughs> <laughs> They're antagonizing the mess out of this guy. I love it. Looked like something that had been here for thousands of years and would be here for thousands of years after I was dead. Of course, Ned Stark crushed our rebellion and killed my brothers. Lord Stark went out of his way to make it your home. Yes, my captors were so very kind to me. You love reminding me of that. They didn't have to be, though. That's what I'm saying. You know what it's like to be told how lucky you are to be someone's prisoner? To be told how much you owe them? Yeah, you that know what I'm saying? That does suck, man. And then to go back home to your real father. And he don't care. I will kill that man. I swear to the drowned god, the old gods, the new gods. They aren't listen to me. I serve Winterfell and bound by oath to serve you. What's your counsel, trusted friend? Run. 500 Northmen wait outside the walls. You have 20 men. Why are they waiting? Wait for nightfall and run. Even if by some miracle I slipped through the lines and made it home, be a coward. The great joy who ran. Join the Night's Watch. It's beyond reach of the law. All his past crimes are forgiven. Won't make it to the wall. Beyond too egotistical, right? There are ways, hidden passageways, built so the Lords of Winterfell could escape. The Night's Watch is an ancient, honorable order. You'll have opportunities there. John will kill you there. The opportunity right. for Jon Snow to cut my throat exactly. in my sleep. The opportunity to make amends for what you've done. I've done a lot, haven't I? Things I never imagined myself doing. Like your sister? <laughs> Sorry. I knew you many years, Theon Greyjoy. You're not the man you're pretending to be. Right, that's what I'm saying. He's LARPing, isn't he? Right, but when he said that about how he feels, I feel for him. Over it. You may be right. Gone too far to pretend to be anything else. Kinda. I told you he's too stubborn, man. Every ironborn man is worth a dozen from the mainland. Who says that? <laughs> they say that. <laughs> amongst themselves. We die today, brothers. We die bleeding from a hundred wounds. We They're like, uh, okay. Every man, woman, and child will know who we were and how long we stood. Ironborn warriors will cry out our names. Let's go, Dion. <laughs> he's turning me over. Let's go. What is dead may never die. What is dead may never die. <laughs> He'd never shut up. It was a good speech. Didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> it really was, though. Oh my gosh. He's this? such a joke, bro. 
What are you doing? No freaking way, dude. There's no way. They killed him for what? Because he's dead, right? I mean, there's no way he's surviving that. I literally hate y'all, Greyjoy, Ironborns. Why should I believe you? Why would I lie about it? Create strife between my sister and me. Well, before there was nothing but love. If it weren't for your squire's bravery, you'd be a dead man. <laughs> Get Bronn. Tell him I want four of his most loyal gold cloaks outside my door at all times. I'm afraid your friend has been relieved of his command of the city watch. Uh -oh. The gold cloaks are now firmly in the hands of your father. Then my hill tribesmen have gone home. You're all alone, Tyrion. Dang. I'm afraid we won't be seeing each other for some time. And I thought we were friends. We are. Aw. What's Shay doing here? She's safe. There are many who know that without you, this city faced certain defeat. The king won't give you any honors. The histories won't mention you that we will not forget. Me either. Right. I feel like it's sort of up to us to carry that on, right? Long live the tale of Tyrion the Great. The little lion. That good. It was good of you to come. Good of me. Of course I come. Right, she could have kind of went free, I guess. No one had to know. What's he about to look like? I will be the first. Ow. That was a little slash. No, that was kind of tough. You look good. Don't worry about it. You deserve it. You were like the warrior. I'm a monster, as well as a dwarf. You should charge me double. You think I'm here for money? I pay you and you lie to me. <laughs> Fuck your money. Oh my gosh. Let's leave. Leave? They try to kill you, they will try again. Going into wars, fighting soldiers, you're terrible at this. <laughs> Take a boat to Pentos and never come back. What would we do in Pentos? I think he likes the game too much. 100% he does. He loves the drama. Father, your sister, all these bad people, they can't stop you. Forget about them. Come with me. I can't. It's in my blood. It runs bad deep. People. What I'm good at. I'm talking <laughs> them out, thinking them what I am. And I like it. There you go, babe. Good prediction. I like it more than anything I've ever done. Well, he just led them to like victory, so I don't care what anyone says. It was him. You have a ship memory. I am yours, and you are mine. Oh. Something tells me she should go, though, man. That makes me sad. And the sight of the seven binding them as one for eternity. Look upon one another and say the words. Look at that shotgun wedding. Mother, Smith, warrior, mother, maiden, crone, stranger. I am hers, and she is mine from this day until the end of my days. Man, they met under crazy circumstances. Congrats, guys. I bet when the war's over, their marriage is going to be so stale and boring. I bet they're going to fall through that bridge on the way home. Yeah, they're going to rig it up so they mm. fall on it. <laughs> She's got to climb up in that thing. If you're on Assassin's Creed, no biggie. That would be so easy. So he's a warlock. I don't really know what that is, to be honest. Me either. It's like I've never looked that up or thought about it, but. Is this a riddle? You better hurry up, Jora. I know. If you're going to show us from your point of view, pick your pace up. No way. She's stuck in a loop. What is going on? Dang. You trying to frighten me with magic tricks? You want me? Here I am. Are you afraid of a little girl? <laughs> Babies. I mean, babe, the show's made it really clear that these dragons are bad news. Not for me. How did he find us? You hear his music? He has a music. Jackin. <laughs> uh, how do you pronounce his name? <laughs> Jaquin or Jackin? I don't, I'm not even going to try. I'm going to call him third person. Hey, he might be in the war thing we're about to react to. Hopefully, because I need to know a little more about that situation. Yeah, if you guys are new here, man, check it out. We do all the wars at the end of the season, so definitely check those out. It's an enhancement. Waiting for you. How do you know we'd come this way? After all the things you have seen, this is your question. How did you kill those guards? Was it hard? No other than taking in your name. I want to be able to do it too. If you would learn, you must come with me across the narrow sea to Bravos. <laughs> Bravos. Sir Bravos. Remember you said Sir Bravos. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The girl has many names on her lips. Joffrey, Cersei. Tyvon Lannister, Limpain, the Hound. Names to offer up to the Red God. She could offer them all. Oh, she could do it herself. She ain't gonna ask him. I want to. I need to find my brother and mother and my sister. I need to find her too. How are you gonna do that? Then we must part. That man has duties as well. Here. What is it? A coin of great value. This is like John Wick. Could it buy a horse? It is not meant for the buying of horses. If the day comes when you must find me again, just give that coin to any man from Bravos and say these words to him. Vala Morgulis. Oh, title. Vala Morgul. Try it out. Valermogulis. Valermogulis. I can't even say the, the state that Boston is in, so I'm not even about to try that. Massachusetts? You know. I can say it. 
Say it again. Valor Morgulis. Valor Morgulis. Valor Morgulis. Okay, why can't I say it? Weren't you the one trying to play me up in the beginning about how my who the I get stuck. Man, my man does not look near as cool anymore. What <laughs> happened? What was that? I don't know. He's talking about something about you want to meet some faceless folks. Come over here with this coin. Tell them Valer Magulis. That is so weird. Like, what was that? It was different. Oh, yeah. What are you doing? It's snowing there. So are they headed more north than Winterfell? I don't know where they go. I mean, there's nothing north of Winterfell other than the wall, right? I don't know. I don't know if they're like near the wall, maybe at the wall. Well, like when they show us the, the introductory, wall. it's always Winterfell and then right above it's the wall. And I haven't really like seen anywhere. Seems like there's rocks on each side. <gasps> um, dude. Uh, uh, I can't watch the kids see this. Oh, Poor my God. Rickon. Oh, man. That was like their dad almost because Catelyn's been gone and Ned's dead. Oh, he's still alive. He needs some milk of the poppy, bro. Oh my gosh. That's what medicine to get from your chambers. It'll make you better. I feel just fine. They burned everything. Not everything. Not you. But they may come back. You have to go. Pack as much food as you can carry and go north. North the wrong way. Their mother and brother is south. We don't know where. There are too many enemies in the south. Go to the wall. To John. He'll look after you and let your mother know you're safe. I pulled you into the world. I've seen both your faces almost every day since. And for that, I consider myself very, very lucky. Go now with Odor. Go on. I'll be right here. You must protect them. You're the only one who can. I'll get you milk of the poppy. I don't want milk of the poppy. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> Do it quickly. Man, you can't let the boys see that. Oh, my goodness. That one was a tough one right there. <laughs> <laughs> Are they tricking her? I don't know, man. Like, I wouldn't even trust that those are my dragons. Nah, I'll be running into them because they're so cute. Yeah, you're going to run up into some magic spells. Yo, that's the, that's the, uh, oh my the gosh. Room. And it's like frozen. <gasps> it's cold. Winter's coming. Winter's coming. I wonder if this is like her, them selling Yo, there's her. no roof on the top, babe. Like, it's been like blown up or something. What the heck? Whoa. That looks like it got ex like burnt down. No, but it's snowing. I don't get it. It looks like winter came. <gasps> Maybe the White Walkers destroyed it. Maybe. Oh my gosh. Look, well, there's your throne. Oh my gosh. What's going to happen to it? She didn't make contact with it. I wonder if it's like make a choice here. That's what it seems like, right? That's the vibe it's given. That's the wall, bro. Yo, this place is trippy, dude. Why? Okay, she's on the whole other side. So why are they telling her about this kind of to save humanity? This is why I didn't want to make no predictions. That's the tent where Drogo was, is it not? Or she like had to choke him out. An Essos? Oh my gosh. Was that all a dream? Just hold on, let's see. <laughs> What's going on, bro? I don't know. I don't know if this is a dream. My baby's confused as hell. I know. Is this a dream? <laughs> like, like make another choice or something with the uh, dragon in the background? Right. Like you can stay here or go there. Until the roof is run dry and the mountains blow in the wind like leaves. So obviously that warlock's just like putting things in her head, right? Oh, they're chained. Oh, they're three different colors too. They're so cute. They missed their mother. When your dragons were born, our magic was born again. It is strongest in their presence and they are strongest in yours. Across a thousand, thousand seasons, you will be with them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So she's about to be a prisoner? Wow, so they're basically just binding her up so they can use the magic of the dragons? You will be waiting a long time. Get them. Are they capable of that? Chakaris. <gasps> she said it. The command. <gasps> whoa, whoa. Let's go. Do it again, do it again. 
Yeah, they can care us all in that room because it's not going to affect her. I'm just feeling like, man, I'm going to take the proper precautions before handling these little dragons. I'm going to get my, you know what I'm saying, my firefighter, my gear firefighter on. gear. I'm going to get my... Have, your, have the extendo hose just in case. Right, exactly. You talking about the miracle one that shrinks up? Yeah. Yeah, that one. Oh, that one's pissed. Uh -huh. <laughs> Dang, that was cool. Now I see why it's always the men who hunt the dragons, guys. Because you're over here rooting them on. Not talking's not the way to go. Careful with that, you might cut yourself. <laughs> you swung the sword before, have you? Enough of that! <laughs> <laughs> Be careful, dude. Oh my god. Oh, he's really trying to sell it, ain't he? No, I, I really don't Let think he is. Fight, Let him fight! <laughs> Let him fight! See, I don't know if he's serious or not, because that. How can you pretend to do that? Yeah, that kind of sucks right there, John. You better. Oh, they said, get back in there. That's what you can do. Is John going to have to kill him just to keep up the act? Oh, don't bring up the dad, dude. That's a bad idea. Or was it your whole mother? He just proved himself the, the like, maybe he's like a wildling. Oh, yeah. That's your brother, dude. And you stabbed him. Man, he kind of doesn't have a choice, babe, because it's bigger than them. Like, that guy right there is a hero. You can tell, man. That's the man who killed Corin Afan. <sighs> Isn't Corin supposed to be like a G, kind of? I mean, hell, it sounds like you're right. Burn the body. You don't want this one coming back for you. The implication is that if he comes back as a walker, he's going to do some damage, bro. Is that why they say burn him? So they don't come back <clears> as <throat> white walkers? Yeah, disintegrate him. Come along, John Snow. Holy is that a village? Cow. Look how huge that civilization is. Yeah. Time to meet the king beyond the wall. That's bigger than Winterfell. So he's gonna meet Mance Raider? Yeah. That's huge, dude. What in the world? That's bigger than like everywhere we've seen so far almost right. besides King's Landing. Yeah, they were saying how big like their army is. Yeah, but I thought they were capping though. Yeah, me too. I was like, how do y'all know? Y'all scouted it? Y'all don't know. What if his uncle's out here? What if he's held hostage? <laughs> Yes, that time girl. Now. said you'd never leave Kath alive ever. Whoa. I didn't realize that was her. I didn't know who you were talking about. Dorothea or something. That's so cool. If you have a circle vault, you made it. 100%. Comment below if you have a circle vault. <laughs> <laughs> we just have a square vault. Oh, there's nothing in it. He's a liar. Thank you, Zara Zoan Doxos. Thank you for teaching me this lesson. Dracarys on your butt. We can take the Iron Throne. I'll bring you a thousand shares. That was like her girl too, wasn't it? Mm -mm -mm. It was known. So she basically proved herself just to be riding with Khaleesi. Oh, she locked them in there forever? Yeah, exactly. She didn't even Dracarys there, but that's what I would have done. Yeah, they're dead in there. It's all a lie. Looks real enough to me. Real enough to buy a ship. A small ship. Oh, so this was all fake stuff over here. They had that bootleg. Right, it was all smoke and mirrors, I guess. They're like, finally, bro. Jeez. I like that Jorah kind of just had like a personality. <laughs> Aww. Man, I don't know how I'm feeling about those dragons. I like, love them. I know y'all are going to come from my head because I just know. But dude, them dragons just smell like danger to me, dude. I love them. I'm about to go rename the pugs right now. I thought we were coming north to fight wildlings. The thing about Gilly that's so interesting. <laughs> oh, boy. Sprung. The thing about her that I find so interesting. After all that Crust has done to her, she's still got hope that life might get better. Oh. He's trying the half hand. Two black uh -oh. wildlings. You're not fighting them alone. Come on. <gasps> three. Oh, that's three for walkers. Oh, heck no. Boy, Sam, you playing if you're running that fast. Any trips? Shows you what they think about you, bro. Whoa. Yeah, you better pretend to be a rock. Hey, yeah. that might work. Seriously. Like on Lord of the Rings? Oh, it just looks like some travelers. Oh. Whoa. Mm -mm. Maybe if you just don't talk to them, though, they won't know you're there. Sam's about to die. Oh, my God, it's a horse. Whoa. <gasps> Play dead. Who is that? So you like spared him? That's like Gandalf White Walker. Bro, what? Wow. Dude, that's a. There's so many. Look at this. There's like wildlings. There's like all co different kinds. So do you think like the lands? Is it the land that's cursed or something turning people to White Walkers? I think if you just don't burn, this is all the people who weren't burnt. All right, guys, that was uh, season two, episode 10, season finale, baby. What did you think about that episode? 
I thought it raised a lot of questions. A lot of questions in regards to the dragon magic, the Stannis magic that he has going on. Magic in general, which people like to pick fun at us that we when we see magic, we're like question mark, question mark above our head. But that yeah, is I don't true. Really operate because, in the world of magic. So I'm not really yeah. sure how it works. So I'm just a little confused about it to be honest. And I'm hoping when we get into the histories and lore, we'll understand more of the background of some of this stuff. For example, the Valor Morgula stuff or whatever. I know I pronounced it wrong. That is that stuff's beyond my comprehension at the moment like having a gold coin that's kind of like john wick I, I know i'm that's like not a good thing to compare it to but like in john wick when you hand somebody that coin it's like for real right so i don't know yeah i know what you mean like we just have to move further in the story uh the thing is if we were able to make all these predictions now probably wouldn't be a very well written story right but um so with stannis man this man looked into the fire and apparently saw victory which is wild apparently right. that lady had him looking into some fire looking silly and she put some type of spell on him or something so i don't exactly know what her aim is but i don't know if stannis really has some like you know what i'm saying like how do i word it like he's got some type of like destiny right, right? is it destiny or is she right. just manipulating him for her own purpose maybe, i don't know maybe it's her destiny you know i don't know dude like that's what i'm saying it's so confusing to try to even understand what's going on with that what instance did they say because there's an instance in the show they said it, it was the guy in the house of the undying he said when oh when the dragons were born it brought on the magic the comet came and all of a sudden we're hearing about like stannis magic so it's like kind of when the dragons were born it was like it opened up this whole new like dimension it was almost like some like apocalyptic opening some seals of the bible type thing or right. something like the dragons came which was a seal and then i don't know man maybe even theon invading winterfell was some type of biblical act in the show i don't know man but there apparently is a lot more going on other than just random coincidences uh, at least that's the vibe that the show's given me like the show's given me the mindset of i need to be prepared for some type of like prophecy or something to be introduced right. in the show with stannis right but then again man i don't know the show just throws a lot of mystique and maturity right. Right. and intrigue at you with all the magic and all that so we'll, we're gonna see guys i feel like this season was definitely setting up the idea that moving forward in the show uh, magic and warlocks and something i guess is gonna be right. something that's gonna be a part of it this season seemed to me like a lot of chess pieces moved but no like final moves were made it sucks that meister lewin died yeah Don't that, get me wrong. A lot. that was really sad and it was emotional but a lot of this episode right here set up a lot of things like marjorie is now gonna marry joffrey sansa was relieved that was a big that was a big deal um because i mean I'm, I'm guessing in season three we're gonna see more of like what sansa is gonna do i don't i don't get this marjorie girl like she must have just not heard but she needs to go have a conversation with sansa and see what it's like to try to be married to joffrey do you not remember when she was talking to peter baelish peter baelish i don't know why i called him that yeah, little she figure was, and she, she said she wanted to be the queen right and here her, she is her ambition fell out of the bag for sure but at the end of the day uh unfortunately in this world man being the queen ranks below being the king and this is a very tyrannical man right and i do not think that just because their house came to the rescue and helped joffrey in his time of need like that narrative is going to change extremely quick so right. the narrative will be no 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 i saved you i brought you along with me you know how joffrey is because if you I think if you think it. about it uh marjorie tyrell really could be hung as like a prisoner or like someone who is a who betrayed the realm because if you think about it she was married renly who in a way was like opposed the realm yeah and all it's gonna take is for her to get on joffrey's bad side and he'll expose that right. absolutely crazy so brianne uh what's your, is that her name brianne brianne and jamie brianne and jamie are making their way and they came across a couple Landon, bandits right? which was crazy these old backwoods and they came out and they thought they were gonna be all funny about you know two of them we gave a quick death one of them we gave a slow death so she that guy basically learned a valuable lesson that day she's basically just on a rampage i mean and she kind of just stopped. proved that she can fight and handle her own right so like whenever instead of getting jamie to help her in that moment she just threw him to the side yeah she and, didn't need him right she was like i don't need you i can fight these three men three v one no big deal i'm not worried about it i mean realistically though like if the show is going to introduce that much realism into it at this point jamie's malnourished he's dehydrated he's beat up he's got sores all over him the thing that yeah, I, he's been a prisoner of right. war so the thing that i think so cool about jamie is jamie and uh Bree's like relationship or like what they have going on right here is brie takes her like the thing she swears to people so serious right. whereas jamie's the kingslayer so like she has to sit there and hang out with the epitome of what she doesn't want to be well this whole world builds up this domino effect of honoring your word is everything and there's people who see that and they take it extremely literal and then there's mm -hmm. people who see that and they laugh at the people who take it extremely literal because they know that it's all just 
a power structure right. layered on top of each other to basically make people do your bidding, right? If right. you're just a high warm person. Just and, like Catelyn Stark said, people take their oaths more serious than others. Some and then Rob's tripping. This man's over here marrying that right. girl. They keep emphasizing how dangerous the Frey Man is and how you really don't want to cross him and stuff. So, But when we saw him, and this is something that's strange to me, when we saw him, he didn't seem like he was very dangerous. He seemed like he had a bunch of kids being held up in that house because they're kind of too ugly to marry off or something, right? I mean, Isn't that's that genuinely like the vibe that the yeah. show is trying to give us. Yeah, 100%. So to me, he doesn't, whenever they're sitting there they're saying he's a threat. Yeah, they're something. like kind of right, yeah. gross and like, you know, stinking over there and stuff. That's smelly on the bridge, and being he's nasty, being basically trolls. on the collapse of like mental decline because he's just so old and beat, right? So we'll see what's up with that. And I he mean, like likes really younger girls, which is like, you know, whatever. I mean, he's Rob's got a strong army, so I guess we'll just have to see. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, man, big big victory in the south so that could that could be problems for rob you know i mean yeah the last thing you really want is the phrase to go the thing is you see all this victory in the south but then it pans to rob and he's getting married so it's like so it's like it's kind of trying to show us that maybe he will get caught off guard i can understand where rob's coming from though babe because a part of me thinks to myself don't get distracted by this girl don't get married yeah. you're in a war she could be anybody you know if you think about it from rob's perspective though i mean he's literally fighting a war at such a young age like his life could potentially be over tomorrow so you know when you do live life like that you know like you just don't waste time and that's something we do like in our modern lives right, right. we waste a lot of time and put things off so right if you're out there and you haven't got married yet and you feel like you should man go marry that girl uh because you're not in war so be grateful right and and like you're saying they they're on a time limit here with everything but with that being said like maybe he wants to do it to have a son to like carry on his family or so i don't know but well i mean yeah that's a huge thing well another thing is see he wants independence so his his motive isn't that he wants to be king his motive is he wants independence from these people like totally so Right. The idea behind this that chaos. is I don't want these people to control my life. And by not marrying this girl, by not like trying to get her pregnant and moving on with your life and without trying to do all that, you're essentially giving them power. Right. So even though like you're at war, one of the most one of the most dramatic moves you can make against your enemy in that situation is to just live your life right. in a way. Right. So yeah, man, the politics run deep. Right. You know? He's probably trying to show everyone like, guys, it's okay. Like we can do things like that we need to do. Like you said, you made the joke when it happened, when he had to marry one of the Frey girls. You're like, I can cut your lawn every summer. Like we can do things, but we don't have to marry into each other's households because the marriages you guys are having are like so toxic. They're not even real marriages. Like, right. It, you're just doing it for some type of gain and you're well in that's your what end. this whole entire world is so Varys went and had a conversation with Roz. Uh, with Roz so that's what I'm trying to say man Varys and Littlefinger have some weird thing going on mm -hmm. that it's kind of obvious what's going on it's man like they're, they're jealous both, of another right they're both jealous of each other it's, it's almost like they both carry the banter of being like someone who has to weasel through society right. and use their brain. And right. that's a fact that seems to be like something they should be ashamed of, especially in this atmosphere. They also try to take that and flip it and wear it as a badge of honor. Right. But I feel like they both sort of know they're weaselly. And so they look mm -hmm. at each other and instead of like working together, they just hate each other because they it's almost like they're looking in a mirror at each right. other. But their their motives are just different. And so Varys tries to play the well, I'm not a pervert card. That's him. He's disgusting. Mm -hmm. And then he plays the well, I'm a pervert, but I'm an honest honest man like he's just a straight weasel right and that seems to be the vibe and i don't really know what the hell they're it's like one of doing. them wants to be closer to the king and it's like the other one like they'll pull moves to get like in with the king and like the council more and then the more they pull these moves the more the other one gets jealous and has to pull a counter move and i can't read i mean at least peter baelish little finger stinky finger he's not the hardest to read because he's made his ambitions very clear he said he wants everything so i mean in a sense i can understand him but Varys, on the other hand i don't really get to do no that. me either and he looks like he's from somewhere else he's clearly a eunuch he dresses like he's from somewhere else right it ain't and got nothing to do with his genital asphyxiation guys right it really doesn't. and he like you know he stands out from everyone else like in his own way but so does little finger because remember little finger like created his own sigil and all that like it's, yeah, it's so. almost like he's playing the Illuminati shadow figure behind the scenes, pulling the strings, but he's trying to do it in a positive way for the realm. I don't know, man. That makes sense because he was selling because like he was like pro Ned, which kind of made me sympathetic to his character, right? As to where Littlefinger was making it clear he was trying to go behind Ned's back. And no, we, but the thing is, I don't really feel like Littlefinger was because in that moment, Littlefinger told Ned to do the thing that would keep him alive, not the thing that was right, but the thing that would keep him alive. And instead of doing so, well, because he probably didn't want war coming 
coming to his brothels. Well, well, yeah, of course you don't want that, but He's in a good weasel. But in a way, Littlefinger did try to keep him alive. He did. He's told. I don't know. I, I really don't know, guys. I would just have to study it more. Um, I mean, I guess time will tell, right? Right. I'm just basically trying to say all that to say this, man. I don't really get what their motives are, but maybe I'm just not supposed to. But I'm sure in season three, man, we'll see a lot more of that. Baby, do we miss any of the key points of this episode? I mean, I think a key point too was also like we got to see the dragon fire. Like we have not got to see the dragons actually perform anything really even see them at all a lot right so seeing them like actually use listen to khaleesi and like burn people alive i think that adds a whole nother element to the show which is gonna i think fall in the hands of khaleesi having power and you know another thing is i know a lot of you guys are probably thinking it but if that guy was smart enough to kidnap the dragons get away with it essentially for a while trick khaleesi into coming into the tower it's pretty goofy that he just got burnt up by a dragon burning fire i mean my 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 toddler knows that dragons breathe fire so right, you'd imagine but, that but he would think, just think remember they the guy said in the thing he said dragons the size of cats so what they thought was that these dragons were not like they were no not harmful dragons they were just little baby dragons who couldn't like survive because there's no way to have them survive they couldn't even eat out there bro i just ain't buying it bro okay. you're gonna tell me at one minute there's just no dragons dragons are the most dangerous nuclear missiles to ever roam the face of the earth and all of a sudden three show up and you're gonna tell me that you're just not gonna take the proper precautions and wear they're, an oven mitt they're domestic dragons wear an oven mitt and a cap shield and walk in there like this mm -mm, they're domestic dragons they're domesticated all right man like subscribe hit us up on patreon thank you guys so much for hanging out during season two Guys, this show is just, it's something different, man. It's Thank great. you guys so much for choosing it in that poll. Hopefully, season three will be just as good as season two. But I'm so excited to see what is going to go down. Let's go.